Greg Marx's first foray into the soap world was as a member of the Horton family on Days of Our Lives. He took over the role of Julie's beloved son, David Banning, in 1981 after popular actor Richard Guthrie left the show. David became enmeshed in a triangle with René Dumond and Count Antony de Mera. When David left Salem two years later, Greg Marx vacated the role. In 1984, Greg Marx had the unenviable task of taking over another popular role, that of as the world turns Tom Hughes. This time, he wasn't only taking over a popular character, he was becoming a part of a popular and well-established couple in Tom and Margot. There was an additional dimension to the as the world turns role since the Tom and Margot relationship was so established and beloved, notes Marx. So I did feel a bit of an extra challenge, and a responsibility to pay homage to what had already been created and at the same time, add my own voice to the mix. Luckily for me, and for Margot and Tom, I had the great good fortune to have Hilary Bailey Smith as my partner in crime, which made the job not only easier but an absolute blast. What could have been a disaster turned out to be a jackpot due in large part to his fantastic chemistry with Hilary B. Smith, who played Margot. I remember calling Hilary before I moved to New York to take over the role of Tom. Hi I said, this is your new husband. Can I take you out for dinner? Luckily, she said yes. Our connection was instantaneous. Truly a gift for an actor because you don't have to work to create it, it just flows. Working with Hillary was one of the most rewarding experiences of my acting life, Marvel's Marks. Luckily, we just clicked from day one, but in addition, her generosity as an actor made me a better actor and really fed our relationship, both as characters and actors. It was a true collaboration, in the best sense of the word. Greg Marks played Tom during a tumultuous time in the character's life as the newly evil Barbara Ryan set out to destroy the marriage of Tom and Margot. Fortunately for fans of the couple, good conquered evil, and the marriage was saved. Not so fortunate for fans, however, was Greg Marks's decision to leave as the world turns in 1987 after winning an Emmy Award for his performance. I left as the world turns for a number of reasons, partly because I was homesick for my life in California. The producers wanted me to stay and held the role open for about nine months, but they ultimately recast Tom once I decided I was home to stay. In hindsight, I have often wondered what might have been, had I stayed. But like all choices in life, they sometimes look different in the rearview mirror and we'll never know. Although fans may miss seeing Greg Marks on their television screens, they certainly haven't missed his voice. After As the World Turns, Marks began a successful voiceover career that keeps him busy to this day. For me, voiceover was a way for me to keep acting, but was less of a pressure cooker than working in front of the camera. It's not the same, of course, but I do love voiceover work, and I'm lucky that I could segue into it full time. And, of course, there's the added benefit that you don't have to deal with makeup and wardrobe. Since there's no visual component, you could theoretically do it in your underwear, not that I ever have. It also tends to be a more solitary pursuit, and is usually a less collaborative enterprise, which can be, and is, both good and bad. Singing is another passion that keeps Marx busy. He's appeared in a number of cabaret venues across the country, mostly singing classics from the great American songbook. Music is something I came to, or came back to, kind of late. I hadn't really pursued it at all professionally while on days or as the world turns, but it was something that fed me creatively and I kept being drawn to just because of that organic connection. It's probably the closest thing to my heart and soul, creatively speaking. I don't know if I have the soul of an actor, maybe I do, but I definitely feel that soul connection to the music. I was actually about to start a new and hopefully ongoing singing gig at a club here in Los Angeles, but Mother Nature and the coronavirus apparently had other plans. I can't wait for this all to be over so I can get back on that horse. In preparation for that eventuality, I'm actually resuming my work with my vocal coach so I don't get too rusty. Might some of his former co-stars be spotted in the audience? I'm still in touch with Philly Sampler and Patty Weaver from days. And Hillary and I catch up whenever we can, it's truly one of those relationships that we just pick up wherever we left off, no matter how much time has sped by. I guess you could say I'm still on good terms with all my exes. It's been a while since his soap opera days, but Greg Marks still hears from fans occasionally. I continue to be amazed at how deeply we impacted people's lives and how incredibly loyal the daytime audience continues to be. Days of Our Lives airs weekdays on NBC. Check your local listing for airtimes.